So let me go off the top of my head with some news or take a look at my phone, maybe. So uh, I heard that Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian are having a child. And to that I say, good for them, you know. Uh, jokingly, I said before that I thought, you know, that me and uh, Courtney had a thing, you know what I'm saying? But I like to joke. I thought maybe she was gonna give me a child, you know what I'm saying? But I'm getting too old, I suppose. Not to mention, you know. Things are a lot different now, considering how much time has passed since I made a joke about that scenario. But I'm happy for them. And I don't know if this is his first child or not, but, you know, kudos to him. Children are important. Let's see what else we got going on. Stellar alert. Are you ready for supernova? It is set to illuminate your sky. Portland reportedly puts together a trade to offer Miami's BAM. Odie Bio. I knew I was going to butcher his name. I always butcher his name. I don't really think that's happening, but we shall see. It might happen. Let's see what else we got going on. 600 pound Marlin almost won a crew 3.5 million. Then it got disqualified. That's the worst, dude. You think you about to get 3.5 million and then you get disqualified? What is that about? I'll be ready to go to war over that 3.5. I'm just saying. Everything that I put in to catch this fish, and you telling me that my fish is disqualified? I don't really got time for all that. Let's see what else we got going on, man. Aerosmith's greatest hits. Aerosmith is one of the greatest bands ever. If you got a problem with that or you disagree with that, you do not know music. All right. Now, I'm a fan of all music, personally. I like classic rock. I like alternative music. I like uh, pop to some degree. Now, hip hop is where, you know, my heart is at because hip hop is just that's what I've been a part of since hip hop. And, you know, all hip hop, West Coast, East Coast, South hip hop, all hip hop. At one point in time, you know, I was one of those CD collectors. But for some odd reason, I can never hold on to anything over life that started me early in life not really caring about material possessions because I've always had stuff, gained stuff, lost stuff, gained more stuff. You know, the good thing about it now is you have the internet. You can pretty much find almost every album that you want to listen to online and listen to it for free. YouTube is one of the greatest inventions ever. You know, are there some things that you can never get back? Absolutely. But for the most part, anything that I can remember of music that I that I used to love listen to or I want to hear again, I could pretty much uh, Google it or just YouTube it and find it if it comes to mind. That's the great thing about media nowadays. Back in the day, it was great having a hard copy. It's always great having a hard copy and stuff like that, especially if you're a collector. You know, it's great. But as a matter of fact, like before I left, it's funny because like before I left, like even Florida, I lost a bunch of music, a bunch of CDs. Again, it was I had a hundred CD disc changer and I had a bunch of originals, a bunch of everything up in that mug that I know I don't, that I don't have. That I had music in there that I'll probably never see again. Strange stuff. 
like uh and I and I wouldn't necessarily say strange but a lot a lot of people things that a lot of people didn't have my original work other artists original work that I that I worked with uh CDs like Twister legit balling that that compilation you know that was a another one um, that I can just think that I just th- thought of just now a bunch of mixes cuz I used to do a lot of bunch of mix CDs you know but you know it is what it is I don't try to cry I don't sit and cry over spilled milk about things that I missed or things that I'm going to that I had because it don't matter at the end of the day anything that I've had material possession wise I can get it again.